Hey, what's up everyone? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review we are looking at the new Marvel Legends Spider-Man figure. This is what I think will become the new benchmark for Spider-Man figures. I think, uh, for the most part, it trumps the McFarlane Spider-Man. They both have some pros and cons, but this one I think, especially since this one is readily available right now, uh, this is going to be the one to get. Uh, so he stands about six and just shy of six and a half inches tall about six and a quarter inches and he is mostly a new sculpt i don't know if it's completely a new sculpt i didn't check every part but i know his torso is new it is not the same as the um the black and red one the black and red spider-man that came out recently oh gosh you guys know i cannot keep these things tr straight uh what is that ultimate unlimited i don't know it's not unlimited Whatever, it's not that mold, it's a new mold. And this is the first in a long time, the first unsculpted webbing Spider-Man figures, which I prefer. I don't like the recessed webbing, it's not what it should be. The painted webbing I think is best, and I do like this. Unfortunately, with that type of thing, the paintwork really needs to be on point, and it is really not. The red, in particular, is really chunky and there's a lot of blemishes and thick spots and thin spots and you can see this shoulder's darker than this shoulder because the paint's not even and then on the back of the neck it's just really really janky it's not great at all uh which means though that since the red part is messed up and the black isn't the parts that are molded in red and then painted black look really good the webbing looks great in the most parts uh, then the painted red parts just don't look good. And you can see there's a bit of a divide in the colors even right there. So that is disappointing. I imagine some will be better than others. Is it a deal breaker? I don't think so because the McFarlane Spider-Man is known for not having a great paint job either. So I guess that's okay. Uh, so I'm overall pretty happy with it. He comes with a slew of accessories. We have an interchangeable head. So we can pop this head off right here. We do have the peg and the hinge, so that will help for posing, of course. We need that for Spider-Man. We can pop this head on. I hope. Well, it's really tough to pop on. I hope that's not an issue for everybody, because we don't want people busting their figures trying to put the head on it. Wow, I cannot get that on. There we go. It's on. I guess I can. So that's got kind of a scrunched up mask so you can see his face which is cool and it's done fairly well i like that comes with some za in case you want to have him eating some pizza which they actually did a good job of making surprised but they did so you can give him some pizza he's got a web slinging hand for either side a thwip hand if you will he's got some climbing hands or crawling hands i love the way they sculpted the fingertips just the way they should have very well done and then of course we have fist hands for either side so i'm very happy that he got some interchangeable hands i do think the hands look a bit big and it makes his extended his arms look even longer than they are i don't think he's technically out of proportion but sometimes in some poses he does look a little bit more lanky than he probably should uh, based on this particular design but it's definitely not a problem it's just something you might notice once you get in pose you should be fine so let's talk about the posing the head can look almost all the way up looks down no problem side to side everything's there we have a butterfly joint you may get some paint issues as you can see here but for the most part it looks good going backwards looks good going forwards it's a fairly effective butterfly joint standard ball hinge shoulders i think those might start rubbing because this paint's kind of thick and chunky up here but as of right now they're okay they have good range of motion we have a bicep swivel double jointed elbow really good range of motion pose them no problem at all those hands are going to be very versatile uh, we do have the red peg so they look good on the outside not so great on the inside no big deal though uh, wrist swivel of course since it's a peg and they do have the hinge on there ab crunch not the best ab crunch for a spider-man figure it's not bad it does lean back and it does lean forward, but we've definitely seen better ab crunches, so that's just something to note. We do have the waist twist, the hips go really far forward, a little bit back, side to side, really limited. That's going to be a problem for posing. Uh, thigh swivel, double jointed knees, really good range of motion, ankle hinge, ankle rocker, 
everything's pretty good on this guy so make sure you stick around to see some photos of him in action here at the end uh check out big bad toy store it's where i got this figure and it's where i get a lot of figures uh definitely my go-to online collector shop so check them out and make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can see my upcoming figure reviews custom figures and other good stuff and in the meantime keep collecting